Taylor, uh, we got Brady Russell coming up. So you want to talk about Brady really quick in your opening statement? Yeah, uh, talking about Brady, man, he's really he's, – he's finding his role right now as a leader um, on the team and on the offense. He's really starting to master the playbook and his technique, and he's what you want, man. He shows up to work every day, uh, you know, and I think with him, he, he can play anything he wants. He's good at the fullback type stuff. He's good route running. He's good blocking on and off the line of scrimmage. So he's exactly what you want in your room. Great. First question, Justin Guerrero. Taylor, right on that note, I mean, we hear a lot about Brady just being the de facto leader of that room. We've talked a lot about the how you were able to beef up your room with the walk-on additions, the, the freshmen from the class of 2020 that have come in. But I wanted to ask you just about Luke Stilwell and then what you kind of tell us uh, about what you've seen from him this camp. You know, so with Luke, he, 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 can, he has the opportunity to be a big mismatch in the pass game. Um, Luke looks like a real solid, big athlete. He's got a big frame. Um, he's starting to catch the ball really well, doing some wrinkles in his routes that's helping him get open. And I think when we get rolling, man, he'll, he'll be a matchup, a mismatch in the, for the defense. Okay, hey, let's go to Henry Chisholm. Hey, Taylor. Uh, looking around uh, both like college football and the NFL, it seems like teams that have – good tight ends have been successful and, and even more so in recent years. I'm wondering if you've seen kind of a shift in the way that tight ends are used or just w how important they are to an offense and why that is. And, you know, it's funny because George Kittle's putting a lot of pressure now on tight ends. Um, and like you said, you see it in the league, especially if you got a good tight end, how impactful that is to your offense. And part of that is, like I say, we're the jack of all trades. We got a pass pro, we got a block in the run game, and we got to win on routes and releases and catch the ball in the pass game. So uh, when you get a good tight end, especially when he can do a lot of things, the defense is forced to one, either put a cover guy on him, and then that's when you run the ball at him. Or if they want to put a bigger dude on you, you can get out in the pass game and, and work the mismatch there. But, you know, one thing that I brought when I came here is my tight ends are going to be able to do it all. And I think that's kind of where the game's headed as a tight end. You're, if you're just limited to the run game or the pass game, you know, there, there's little use of you. So you got to be able to do both. Okay, last one from Brian Howell. Hey, Taylor, I wanted to ask you about a couple of those newcomers. Uh, uh, the first one is Matt Lynch, obviously coming from UCLA, played quarterback, tight end. He's been a holder, things like that. How versatile has he been? And, and do you see him being for you guys? And then also, if you could talk about Jake Peters, who came from Arizona and didn't really fit in that offense and, looking for an opportunity here. Um, what do you see out of both of those guys? You know, so Matt, I, I wish I had the opportunity to work with Matt for a few years. Uh, he is a good, solid tight end in both the run and pass game. He's got a lot of length. Um, you know, we're happy to have him. He's going to be playing a lot for us this year. But he shows up and work. He, he's a blue-collar guy. He's strong at the point of attack. And he's got some juice to him in the pass game. Um, and my relationship with him goes back to high school. I helped recruit him to UCLA when I was a GA there. So it's cool seeing it come full circle. You know, he's a real high IQ guy when it comes to football and in school. Um, but, you know, it's been a blessing to get mad. And I think he's going to uh, make some plays for us. And then Jake's doing his thing. He's working. Um, you know, we're trying to find his role, a role for him. I think he'll be able to help us out in the run game a little bit. But it's been nice getting him. Uh, Jake and Nick, too. You know, Nick Fisher's really come along. He's a big guy. He's probably the biggest body we have in our room. So I think he'll help us get in movement, point of attack, and he's a true Y guy. But they all work hard, and they show up. They're smart guys, and I'm glad I got them. Great, thanks. Hey, Taylor, really quick, did you ever watch film or a video of your dad playing tight end in college? Uh, I've seen clips. I need to get some. You guys got some in the archives? Is there somewhere in your office? I saw, I saw the one he scored, and he put his hands up like that. <laughs> but I haven't seen much outside of that. So We'll try to dig some up. And some, we'll okay. Thanks right, for joining us. Good. All right. Thank you.